Ang karunungan ay kapangyarihan. And we're putting that power to the test today here on K-Check. Hello everyone, I am Jules Gia. Ako naman po si Gabby Concepcion, the attorney not the artista. And this is K-Check with another season of Teaching and Learning. The search continues for those na gustong sanayin at palawakin ang brain power nila through competition. Let's find out together kung kaya nila ang brain to work out natin for this season. Samahan niyo kami until the final week of competition para malaman natin kung sino ang tatanghaling K-Check champion. Apat na contestants ang dadaan sa ating karunungan check sa araw na ito. Jace is a secondary education student of UP Diliman. Among his favorite activities are reading, eating desserts, and going to new places. He also knows around 20 different national anthems by heart. Lagot ka, mamaya. <laughs> Sunod naman si Alz. Alz is a student of UP Diliman. He studies computer engineering. His hobbies are watching movies, coding, and playing instruments. His pastime on campus is studying in the CS library. Studios. Studios. Si Luis is a performing arts student, also studying at the Bulacan State University. Their hobbies include playing video games, designing costumes, and watching plays and movies. And finally, we have Prima. Prima is also a secondary education student of UP Diliman in mathematics education. Her hobbies are playing guitar, binge-watching movies, and watching anything interesting. She also joins pageants occasionally. We'll have to wait to yes. ask her more. Mm -hmm. So these four will be competing under the watchful eyes of today's K-Check panel of experts. Professor Glezi Atienza is from the College of Arts and Letters, UP Diliman. We also have Assistant Professor Bernard Caslib from the Department of Social Sciences, College of Arts and Sciences, UP Manila. And of course, we have Assistant Professor Marla Endriga from the Department of Biology, UP Manila. At ngayon, contestants, hawa ko na ang mga tanong na kailangan ninyong sagutin. Get ready to buzz in, but wait for me to call your name before answering. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Let's begin! Question number one. What type of food are edam, ricotta, camembert, and cheddar? Prima. Cheese. Cheese is correct. Okay, check. Question number two. How many months are there in two years? Prima. 24. 24 is correct. Okay, check. In music, how many strings does a standard violin have? Alves. Four. Four is correct. Okay, check. Question number four. In sports, the martial art of Taekwondo originated in what Asian country? Jace. Korea. Korea is correct. Okay, check. Question number five. Composed of 10 islands, what is the northernmost province in the Philippines? Jace. Batanes. Batanes is correct. Okay, check. Question number six. What is the Filipino version of the animal called water buffalo? Luis. Carabao. Carabao or Calabao is correct. Okay, check. Question number seven. Hepatitis is the inflammation of what organ? Jace. The liver. The liver. Liver is correct. Okay, check. Question number eight. Japanese singers Mina, Sana, and Momo are members of which nine member singing group? Prima. Twice. Twice is correct. Okay, check. Question number nine. What country is the setting of the 1998 and 2020 movie versions of Mulan? Louis. China. China is correct. Paycheck. Question number 10. In mental math, what is 0 0.6 as a fraction in lowest terms? Uh, uh, Three-fifths. Three-fifths is correct. Paycheck. Question number 11. Before becoming a senator, which actor appeared as Andres Bonifacio in the 2014 Alz? Robin Padilla. 
2014 film Bonifacio, ang unang pangulo. The correct answer is Robin Padilla, Kate Last question for this round. In anatomy, what organ composed of ventricles and atria is the center as? Heart. Let me proceed. Is the center of the circulatory system. The correct answer is heart. Kate check. And that ends round number one. After that hotly contested mm -hmm. round, we have Als with 40 points, Jace and Prima tied with 30 points each, and Luis with 20 points. Oh, diba? Talagang medyo mainit ang labanan. Talagang hot na hot sila hot maganin. Hot na hot talaga. Ang buzzer. Pero syempre, hinga muna tayo at this point at kilalanin pa natin mga contestants natin. Ito, si Jace, diba? He claims to know 20 national anthems by heart. Okay, ano-ano yung mga national anthems na ito? At kailan ka nag-start na mag-memorize ng mga national oh. anthems? At bakit? Oh, at oh. bakit. Um, so, when I was in grade 3, if I'm not mistaken, I was just browsing videos on YouTube. And then, uh, if I'm not mistaken, may laban nun si Pacquiao. Tapos, they were singing national anthems. And I was quite curious why they were doing such things. So, I searched it up on YouTube and uh, the algorithm just produced more and more. And then, out of sheer boredom, I memorized some of them. So, for example, I do memorize, of course, the American, which is the first one I learned. Mm -hmm. uh, aside from that, I know the Canadian National Anthem, the anthems of Mexico, Brazil, Italy, South Africa, Malaysia, Singapore, Australia, New Zealand, and a few others. So, kapag may laban si Manny Pacquiao, sa mga bansang yun, kaya ikaw You can ikaw sing kunin. for both kinds. Yeah. Uh, also, I like watching the Olympics because it's when things happen. They sing the national anthems when there's the awardings. So yeah. Pero buti pa siya nung grade 3 siya may YouTube. Toto. See, Al's the man who likes to spend his free time in the library. Studios. Studios. Do you have any special interests na rinireserch mo? At palagi kang nasa library? Um, since graduating na po ako, uh, more on thesis na po kasi yung ginagawa namin. So, ayun, uh, kailangan mo matapos. Ah, <laughs> Kaya ako okay. nasa library para matapos. <laughs> Dala naman pala ng matitindi, matinding oh, pangangailangan. Kasi kailangan makapagtapos na rin agad. <laughs> okay, so yan. Uh, we'll talk more later no, sa mga contestants natin. But for now, maghahanda na tayo para sa round 2. Susunod na yan sa pagbabalik ng K-Check! K-Check! Tuloy pa rin ang ating karunungan check. Points recap muna tayo. Leading si Alz with 40 points. Tied naman si Jace at si Prima na may 30 points each. At si Luis naman ay may 20 points. Mm -hmm. But before we continue, I just have a few questions for Luis. Unang-una, ano ba ang dream role mo? And ano ang pinakamahirap na costume na dinesign mo? Dream role ko po is a mix between an actor and a costume designer po. Since it is first choice ko po talaga ang costume design po before and after. Then I fell in love po once I got into my course po. And in terms po sa pinakamahirap po na costume na ginawa ko, hindi po dahil mahirap po siyang i-design, kundi mahirap po i-conceptualize po. And which is yung palabas po namin last month, which is entitled Nanay Isog at ang kanyang mga anak, written by Rod Roddy Vera po. Oh. So talagang... Yung costume, no? kailangan siyempre nakabase dun sa yes, costume. Yes po. Yung, yung very difficult po. And kailangan po talaga mag-match po yung vision po ng director po sa pinepresent ko po sa kanya po. But I'm sure successful naman. Eh? Yes po. Alright. That's great to hear. Ngayon naman si Prima. No, so narinig natin kanina, no? sumasali daw siya sa mga pageants. And for sure, sanay na sanay na siya sa mga Q&A. So, ang tanong natin... Ako mag-bother siya sa... Oo, bigla kang gumanon sa pageant. So, ang tanong natin kay Prima, sino ang una mong babalikan kung o kapag nanalo ka na sa K-Check and why? You have 30 seconds. I believe. Um, of course, the first person that I would um, share the news with is my parents. And then, yung naghatak sa akin dito, which is my friends. And then, I will thank them for the opportunity. Very grateful. 
<coughs> sa mga experiences. Yes. Interesting. Well, thank you very much, contestants. It's always so nice to hear from our contestants and to know them more personally. But now, it's time to get back into the competition. This is round two. Remember to wait to be acknowledged before answering. Each correct answer is worth 20 points. Remember, contestants, you lose 10 points if you answer incorrectly. Let's, Let's begin. begin. Question number one. Which actor played the role of Ernest Burkhardt in the 2023 film Killers of the Flower Moon? He also played the role of Jack Dawson in the 1997 film Jace. Leonardo DiCaprio. In the 1997 film Titanic, Leonardo DiCaprio is the correct answer. He checked. Question number two. In December 1941, the Japanese military launched a surprise attack on the United States Naval Base at Pearl Harbor. In what present-day U.S. state can you find Pearl Harbor? Jace. Hawaii. Hawaii is the correct answer. K. Check. Question number three. Named after a French acrobatic performer, what do you call a close-fitting one-piece garment worn especially by dancers, usually worn with tights? Alice. Leotard. Leotards or leotard is the correct answer. K check. Question number four. Named by American astronomer John Wheeler, what term refers to the region in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot escape? Chase. Black holes. Black holes, the correct answer. K check. Question number five in chemistry. What do you call a non-metallic element, <clears throat> such as arsenic or silicon, that has some of the properties of a metal? I'm sorry, but uh, that was a little bit too late. The correct answer is metalloid. Question number six. Siberia is a 13 million square kilometer region famous for long, cold and hard winters. In what country can you find Siberia, else? Russia. Russia is the correct answer. K check. Question number seven. What cocktail drink, which has the same name as a former Filipina Miss Universe winner, is composed of tequila? Jace. Margarita. Margarita is the cocktail composed of tequila, triple sec, lime and salt. The answer is correct. K check. Question number eight. Numbering more than four million, the Waray Waray people mostly live in what region of the Philippines? Luis. Visayas. The answer is incorrect. Jace. Region eight, Western Visayas. The answer cannot be considered. Anybody want to steal? The correct answer is Region 8, but Region 8 is Eastern Visayas. Actually, kung tumigil ka na sa Region 8, tama na ang sagot mo. Question number 9. What Latin phrase, literally meaning in good faith, refers to something that is genuine or real? In good faith. The correct answer is bona fide. Question number 10. In music notation, what symbol that looks like a lowercase letter B means lower in pitch by a semitone or half step? J's. Flat. A flat is the correct answer. K, check. Question number 11. Taken from the French word for level, what geographic term refers to the elevated landform with a nearly level surface that rises sharply above the surrounding area. Jace. Plateau. Plateau is the correct answer. K, check. Question number 12, and the last question for this round. What term may mean values that will make a math equation true or a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances in which the molecules else? Equals. The answer is wrong. 
a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances in which the molecules of substances are completely dispersed. Are completely dispersed. The correct answer is solution. And that's it for round two. All right, points recap muna tayo. Leading si Jace with 140 points, followed by Al's with 70 points, and then we have Prima with 30 points, and then Luis with 10 points. Up next, ang pinakahinihintay na ultimate pagalingan round. Dito lang yan sa K-Check. Welcome back everyone. Points recap po na tayo. Jace is leading with 140 points, followed by Al's with 70 points. We have Prima with 30 points and Luis with 10 points. In the lead man si Jace ngayon ay may chance pa rin makahabol ang iba as we go into our ultimate pagalingan round. Remember, sa ating panel of experts, manggagaling ang mga katanungan. And this is your last chance para humabol. In this round, correct answers are worth 30 points each at my 15-point deduction for wrong answers. Let's, Let's begin. begin! First question for this round will come from Prof. Glessy. Who wrote the Philippine novel, America is in the Heart? Letter A, Carlo Caparas. Letter B, Carlos Sigion Reyna. Letter C, Carlos Bulosan. Letter D, Ninoch Carosca, and letter E, Rogelio Sicaro. J, C, Carlos Bulosan. Okay. The correct answer is letter C, Carlos Bulosan. K, okay, check. Thank you, Prof. <laughs> Bernard. So this is your question. In Thomist ethics, which concept refers to a conscious, voluntary, and free act? Letter A, acts of human letter b verbs of human letter c humane actions letter d human acts and letter e free action prima letter e letter e sorry that's incorrect letter a letter a a that's also incorrect Letter D. Letter D. Human acts. Yeah, that's correct. K check. <laughs> Prof. Marla. Next question. Which of the following elements is a noble gas? A. Oxygen. B. Helium. C. Nitrogen. D. Hydrogen. E. Carbon. Else. Helium. B. That's correct. K check. Thank you. Next question, Prof. Blessy. Okay. Sino ang nagsulat ng fry botot? Letter A, Graciano Apasible. Letter B, Henciano Noble. Letter C, Heruncio Cruz. Letter D, Graciano Lopez Jaina. And letter E, Apolinario Mabini. Jace, Graciano Lopez Jaina. Answer is letter D, Graciano Lopez Haina, K check. Thank you. Prof. Bernard. Okay, this question is for logic. Which argument type uses specific premises to make a broader generalization? Is it A, deductive arguments? B, inductive arguments? C, analogical arguments? D, Valid arguments and letter E, invalid arguments. Else. B, inductive arguments. Letter B, that's correct. K, check. Thank you, Prof. Marla. Next question. Who was the first female scientist to win a Nobel Prize? Else. Marie Curie. Let me finish the question. For her work on radioactivity. The answer is Marie Curie. K-check. 
Thank you. Prof. Lessie, next question, please. Who were the editors of the 55-volume reference material on early Philippine history entitled The Philippine Islands, 1493-1898? Jay. Blair and Robertson. Let me finish the question. The choices are Emma Blair and James Robertson. Letter B, Nicanor Tiongson. Letter C, Nick De Ocampo. Letter D, Edna Sapanta Manlapas. And letter E, all of the above. The correct answer is letter A, Emma Blair and James Robertson. Okay, check. Prof. Bernard. Okay, so this one is for ethics. This moral minimalistic theory claims that the truth of moral statements depends on individual moral agents. A. Cultural relativism. B. Subjective relativism. C. Religion. D. Egoism. Or E. Absolutism. Lewis. B. Subjective relativism. That's K. Check. Thank you. Prof. Marla. Which of the following is not a type of microorganism? A. Bacteria B. Protozoa C. Fungi D. Virus E. Insecta Prima E. Insecta A. Check Now we're off to our last set of questions for this round. <laughs> Prof. Glassy, go ahead. Okay. What is the popular name of this Philippine superstar who was twice nominated before she was conferred the National Artist for Cinema Award in 2022. She is known for her lead roles in movies like Binsay Isang Gamugamo, Banawe, Chase, Nora Onar, Lollipops and Roses, among others. The choices are Honorata de la Rama A, B, Honorio Bartolome de Dios, C, Nora Onor, D, Vilma Santos, and E, Susan Roses. The correct answer is Nora Honor C. K. Chen. Prof. Bernard, last question. Yes. Okay, this one is on psychology. Who among the following introduced the theory of multiple intelligences? A. Eric Erickson. B. Howard Gardner. C. Jean Piaget. D. Albert Bandura. Or E. Sigmund Freud. Else. Eric Erickson. That's incorrect. Prima. B. Howard Gardner. That's K. Chen. Thank you. Last question for this round, Prof. Marla. What is a light year a measure of? A. Time. B. Distance. Else. B. Distance. Let me finish reading the question. C. Luminosity. D. Brightness. E. Mass. The correct answer is B. Distance. K-Check. And that's it for K-Check Ultimate Pagalingan. Congratulations to Jace, our K-Check Daily winner with a final score of 260 points. So we'll see Jake again on Friday when they compete with our other daily winners for a spot in our semi-final. Thanks to Jace. Els, Louis, and Prima for joining, and to the members of our panel of experts, Professor Glessy, Professor Bernard, and Professor Marla. This has been Attorney Gabby Concepcion. And I'm Jules Giang. Join us again tomorrow for another K-Check! K -check.